This video will review over the gas laws, specifically Boyle's Law, Charles Law, Gay-Lussac's Law, and the Combined Gas Law. When performing gas law calculations, units of pressure come into play. The following are conversions in units of pressure. One atmosphere equals 760 millimeters of mercury. One atmosphere also equals 760 torr. So do notice that one millimeter of mercury equals one torr. Okay, one atmosphere equals 101.325 kilopascals. One atmosphere equals 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Pascals are pressure exerted by a force of one newton action on an area of one square meter. The most common units of pressure you will see on our future problems will be atmosphere and millimeters of mercury. Do be aware that if you have an equation where pressure is on either side of the equation such as P1 V1 equals P2 V2 your pressures must be in the same units you cannot do these problems with pressure 1 being in atmospheres and pressure 2 being millimeters of mercury so do use these conversion factors as needed the first gas law that we will review will be Boyle's law. The formula for Boyle's law is P1 V1 equals P2 V2. Now notice from our graphs the relationship that we have with pressure and volume. As pressure increases volume decreases. Therefore we have the pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to the volume that it occupies. Notice that temperature is not in the equation because temperature is a constant. Here we have a Boyle's Law problem. A sample of oxygen gas occupies a volume of 150 milliliters when its pressure is 720 millimeters of mercury. What volume will the gas occupy at a pressure of 750 millimeters of mercury if the temperature remains constant? Now, temperature remaining constant means temperature will not show up in our equation. Therefore, we will be using Boyle's Law, P1V1 equals P2V2. This is a simple algebraic problem where we solve for x. The first thing we want to do is to identify each of the components of the problem and find out what our x is. Notice that V1 is 150 milliliters stated from our problem. P1 is 720 millimeters of mercury stated in our problem. V2 is our unknown that we will solve for. P2 is 750 millimeters of mercury. Notice that I will check and make sure that both of my pressures are in the same units. Therefore, I plug in my numbers into the equation, solve for x, and I get an answer of 144 milliliters as V2. Our second gas law that we will review over is Charles Law. With Charles Law, pressure will be a constant. The formula for Charles Law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Be aware that any equation that has temperature in it, as dealing with our gas laws, temperature must be in Kelvin. Many times the temperature will be given to us in Celsius and we will need to convert it to Kelvin. To do so, Kelvin equals Celsius plus 273. Here we have a Charles Law problem. A sample of carbon monoxide gas occupies 3.20 liters at 120 degrees Celsius. At what temperature will the gas occupy a volume of 1.5 liters if the pressure remains constant? Now, do remember that uh, our equation we will be using is going to be V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Our volume 1 is 3.2 liters. Our volume 2 is 1.54 liters. 
Notice that our temperature was given to us in Celsius. We need to convert that to Kelvin. To do so, our Kelvin temperature will equal 125 plus the 273. And when we look at this, that works out to 398. T2 is our unknown. So we will solve our problem filling in 3.20, uh, 398, 1.54, x. We will do our equation, solve for x, and we get an answer of 192 degrees Kelvin. Our third gas law is Gay-Lussac's law. With Gay-Lussac's law, volume is the constant, and our formula will be P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. As you work this problem, make sure that both pressures are in the same units and make sure that your temperatures are both in Kelvin. Here we have a Gay-Lussac's law problem. A gas con content of an aerosol can under pressure of three atmospheres at 25 degrees Celsius. What would the pressure of the gas in the aerosol can be at 52 degrees Celsius? Again, we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. We identify our components. P1 is three atmospheres. P2 is our unknown we solve for. Notice that both of our temperatures are in Celsius. Even though both temperature is in Celsius, we must convert it to Kelvin in order for the equation to work. So our 25 plus 273 will be our formula here and our 52 plus 273 will be our temperature there. We plug our numbers in, we solve for P2 and we get an answer of 3.25 atmospheres. Finally, the combined gas law combines Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Gay-Lussac's law. So we have an equation of P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. The main thing to be aware of is that when doing these problems, make sure both pressures are in the same units, make sure both of your volumes are in the same units. Temperature must be in Kelvin. Here we have a combined gas law problem. A helium filled balloon has a volume of 50 milliliters at 25 degrees Celsius and 820 millimeters of mercury. What volume will it occupy at 650 millimeters of mercury and 10 degrees Celsius? Well, as we look at it, we have our P1, our V1, and our T1 we need to identify for. We have our P2, V2, and T2 that we need to identify. Well, if we look at this, we have a volume of 50 milliliters. We have our temperature at 25. We need to convert that, so we'll add 273 to this. We have 820 millimeters of mercury. We have a volume that will be our unknown for V2. We have our P2 as 650 millimeters of mercury, and that looks good. Both of the pressures are in millimeters of mercury. Our T2 is 10 degrees Celsius, so we need to convert that to Kelvin. Once we have done that, we plug our numbers into our equation, and we solve for volume 2, and we get 59.9 milliliters.